A local family and the city come together in remembrance and action. I'm a Green Bay neighborhood reporter Andrew Amuzu with the important meaning behind this crosswalk. She was just the best grandma and wife and mother that you could ask for. This area outside of Cranky Pat's Pizzeria brings back memories for Sue Spielvogel. I try not to drive past it, honestly, um, but definitely, you know, she'll be in my heart always. Remember her. In February, her 82 year old mother, Judy Sisler, was hit and killed while crossing the street. She and her husband had just left the pizzeria after Valentine's Day dinner. It's overwhelming. I have goosebumps with all the people standing behind me. On Thursday, Sue and her family joined city officials at this new crosswalk near the intersection of Bellevue and Cass Street. Now, this is something that, that we struggle with every day, not just in Green Bay, but across the state and nation, is getting people to slow down, to respect pedestrians, to look out for their neighbors and, and for everybody's safety. Donations from a GoFundMe paid for the creation of the crosswalk and a memorial bench. But we are absolutely blessed that we were able to get some guidance and cooperation to turn that tragedy into something positive. Family we talked to back in March are grateful for the community support. The turnout, everybody having such great words of support has been really overwhelming. And people passing the bench can scan the QR code that will give you more information on Judith and the impact of implementing a crosswalk. Green Bay Public Works says it plans to install 60 crosswalks across the city in the coming months, noting a 90 to 95 compliance rate from drivers when crosswalks are added. And the family says extra funds from the GoFundMe will be used for future crosswalk projects and a scholarship. In Green Bay, Andrew Muzu, NBC 26.